let's start uh, a meeting with uh, we we'll read uh, the verses uh, from uh, the word of god in john uh, chapter 5 john chapter 5 starting from verse 1 Afterward, Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish uh, holy days inside the city near the sheep gate was the proof of Bethesda with five covered porches. Crowds of sick people, blind, lame, or paralyzed lay on the porches. One of the men laying there had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew he had been ill for a long time, he asked him, would you like to get well? I, uh, verse 7, I cannot, sir. The sick man said, for I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water bubbles up, someone else always gets there ahead of me. Jesus told him, stand up, pick up your mat and walk. Instantly, the man was healed. He rolled up his sleeping mat and began walking. But this miracle happened on the Sabbath. So the Jewish leaders objected. They said to the man who was cured, you can't work on the Sabbath. The law doesn't allow you to carry that sleeping mat. But he replied, the man who healed me told me, pick up your mat and walk. Who said such a thing as that? They demanded. The man didn't know for Jesus had disappeared into the crowd. But afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and told him, now you are well. So stop sinning or something even worse may happen to you. Then the man went and told the Jewish leaders that it was Jesus who had healed him. <clears throat> I mean, uh, this sick man, he was uh, at that area, that place at that day, uh, it was uh, too many people celebrating holy days. But this man, he was 30 years sick, like me, but I was more than him less than 40, 39 and a half, almost the same me. The same story, it's my story. It's too many people, uh, the blind, the lame, paralyzed, good people, bad people, they were there. And they are all helpless. They are sick. Everyone is sick. It's the true picture of the people, the dead people, dead man. Who can heal himself or save himself? No one. All are sinner because there is, they have fallen nature. This man, he was, he had desire to get healed, but he didn't get helped. He was looking for the people, even the angel. He was missing for something. It's God's grace. But Lord Jesus, he came to this pool and as is written, Jesus saw him. Too many people over there, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands, I don't know. 
But there is something. Lord Jesus, he saw this man. As he saw me, and I wasn't looking for him. He was looking for me. And uh, after he was sick, he, 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 couldn't, he couldn't move. He was waiting for people to heal him, to help him. But nobody helped him because no one can help him. Maybe they can help him uh, to get uh, healed from uh, the body problems. But it's not that big help because he's going to get sick again because we have uh, fallen nature. Maybe you, Lord Jesus, sees you suffering. Only he can know the heart. Did you ask him for the help? Did you ask him what you need in, in your life or after your life? Life is short. Maybe uh, you see nobody cares about me. Maybe you see many people, they can help you, but they don't help you. But Lord Jesus, he came for those people, for those people, sinners, such as me. And Lord Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? This verse, when I heard it 12 and a half years ago, almost 13 years ago, July 2010, I thought, is Lord Jesus was talking to me? It took me five months to find the answer. Five months exactly after July, end of 2010, 1 1 2011. I got the answer after I asked him because I want. He was 38 years, I was 39 and a half. five months, but maybe today is the last day in your life. Did you thought about after your death, what's gonna happen? Many, they told me that. I said, nobody knows what's gonna happen. Nobody went to hell and came back and told me. I was blind, I was dead, but I heard the message uh, from the Bible. I found the truth. There's two uh, roads and two distance. All the ways taking, going to hell, but only one way to heaven. Let's say about three points. One thing, maybe you can say, I don't know. Second one, I cannot. But the, the last one, I don't want. This is the problem. You don't want. You have no desires. You want to live your life as you want. It's, it's no problem if you don't know or you cannot. But the problem is you don't want. This is the problem. Maybe. Uh, you, 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 you are living your life because maybe you heard life is short, have fun, especially you are young, you are youth, you want to live your life. It's early to come to Lord. I want to live my life. Maybe you have drugs, cocaine, smoke, alcohol, doing very bad things. But Lord Jesus came for you. He has solution. And the treatment is there. Jesus is there. Would you come to him to heal you? Not from the, what problems you have. Because there is two things. There is healing of body and healing of sins. And many, 
Not many. All the people, they're looking for healing of body. And they forgot or, or they don't want about healing of sins, which is eternal. Maybe you are sick, he, he, he can heal you now. You're going to get sick again. But because we have uh, fallen nature, Lord can heal your body. But has he forgiven your sins? Think about your eternal. Don't delay. Maybe there is no other time. Prepare to meet your God. Are you ready to meet him? The door will close, will be closed later. You're going to say it's early. I want to enjoy my youth. And later, I will come to you. I am 15, 14, 16 years old, 25 years old. It's early, Lord. Give me time. I want to live my life. And later, I will come to you. But maybe there is no later. The time is now. There is no tomorrow. The time is now, today. If you hear his voice, don't hurt your heart. He's knocking your heart's door. Will you open the door for him? God overlooked people's ignorance about these things in earlier times, but now he commands everyone everywhere to repent of their sins and turn to him. As he says in Acts 17, verse 30, don't delay. Please don't delay. Did you told him, come and wash me with your blood? in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. So he is here passing and looking for you. Would you call him tonight? Would you repent and tell him, to heal you like he healed the 38 years old? Today or now, he's telling you, do you want to get well? Maybe you are, you are scared from people to tell you why you are doing that. Why you, you're going to change your life to go to Lord. There is changing. Yes, he, he changed the life from death to life, because he is the life. You will get many, you'll get in many difficult difficulties from people because at the time you open your heart's door to Lord Jesus. Because you left the circle of devil and you entered the circle of the Lord. So devil will uh, will make an uh, enemy for you from the nearest people, relatives, family. You will get any troubles from the world because not in the circle of devil anymore, of darkness. It's happened with me. They first I, I accept Lord Jesus as my savior and he received me. Too many enemies, they are all overseas. They don't know what's happened here with me. But I know brother, my brother told me, Hikmat, about when I got saved, I didn't know what's gonna go later. He told me you will have lots of problems with the family. That's right, I got lots of problems through, through social media, through phones, I got calls. Yeah, I got in difficulties. But I was happy at that time. Before, 
I used to be happy with alcohol. Hours every day, I smoked. I was enjoyed the sins at that time, but it was fake. It was not true. It was bad. So Lord can change. He, as he changed this sick man, he changed me. He can save you as he saved me and saved this sick man. And now there is a great news. God sees you and God tests the hearts and minds. So he know what, what's in your heart, only him. Don't think you are a good man. You, you are a good man, that's, that's very good. You have to be good, but it's not gonna save you from sin because all have sinned. No one except Lord Jesus, the one he came and died in the cross in our stead. What about you? Would you accept him tonight, your savior? Many, we, we are hearing about uh, stories about people. They are young people, 18 years or 20 years. They slept, they are healthy. Till now they are sleeping. They didn't wake up again. They die, they pass away. They went to the eternal home, heaven or hell. So don't think you are healthy. You are in a good country, there is no war, I will be okay. The news we are hearing now everywhere in the world, always problems, troubles, wars. Don't think you are in safe country, in safe place. It's temporarily safe, but spiritually you are dead. Lord is here to give you eternal life, his eternal life. Are you accepting him? As, his, as your savior, the one he loved you till death. He loved you so much. Somebody told me before I get saved, Jesus loves you. Why he's telling me that? Then one, why he loves me? What I did? Yes, the people can, can see I am good man, I do good things, but against God, I am sinner. I am not good. But then I, after I opened the Bible, I read the Bible. Uh, every time I read the Bible, I, I can feel that somebody talking to my heart. Someone talking to me. And I listened about five months before I got saved. Yes, he saved me from sin and he gave me his eternal life. He was this troops, my thoughts, many things. That's, this is not true. But no, Lord Jesus, he is the truth. He is the door. He is the way. Would you go in that way? So... Today, probably the last day in your life. Think serious about your eternal life. And have Jesus because your life is short. 
Even if you live till 100 years old or 110, 120, the life is short. And there's eternal life. You are going there. There is no time. Maybe you think there is, no, there is nothing after death. If you think right or wrong, there is eternal after death. Lord Jesus loves you and he is here to save you. Would you accept him your savior tonight? I pray that you don't hurt your hearts and because you need salvation. Don't think you don't need, if, I, if you say I don't need and uh, later you need it. Lord Jesus loves you and waiting for you tonight. Thank you for listening and watching.